Hello everybody, today I'm here, uh, thriller, whatever you want to call me, I really don't care, but today we're, I'm going to show you how to update Geyser Spigot, and it's a common issue, basically what it is, is it's your cross-platform play between Bedrock and Java, and typically most people will have a problem trying to update it, so that's what this is for, to help you update it. So what the problem typically is, is you have it, it works for like a month or so, then all of a sudden it stops working for a platform or something. You that's, That means you have to update it. So what we're going to do is check first by doing slash slash geyser version. And as you can see, the server is running on geyser version. We are currently 14 versions behind. And what it will do is it will provide you a link and what you're going to click on this link and what it's going to do is let me pull it up real quick uh, so now that we are here what we're going to want to do is if you're using specifically geyser spigot the spigot one you're going to want to select these two files and download them now while you wait for them to download you're going to want to go to your console of choice which mine is this one and it's the console I'm working with Fox hosting amazing console amazing everything you couldn't ask for a better hosting service but what we're going to do is navigate to our plugins folder and then locate our geyser files and then what we're going to do as well is we are going to select them the old ones and delete them so we can replace them with the newer files and because I'm using uh, Fox hosting I have to delete the old ones from the recycling bin I'm also going to delete this too but that's for another project so we're not going to we are now going to insert the files into the console. I'm sorry for any jump cuts you may see. It's because I'm relatively new to editing and, well, not the best at it. But Minecraft development, that's a whole nother story. So we're going to wait till these files download and I'll jump to it once it's done. Alrighty, everybody. Now that the files have successfully downloaded, we're going to want to go to our main console page and then restart the server. Now I will jump back to once it's done restarting and I will get back to you. Alrighty, the server is restarting. What we're going to want to do is type geyser version and it will say no updates available that means that you are currently up to date now that is basically just about everything that is needed now if you wish to see more content like this in the future on dev tutorials please like the video it it will definitely encourage me to make more and um, if there's any specific dev work you wish to see um i will i do modern tutorials because most tutorials are for older versions of Minecraft like 1.14, a 1.15 or 1.12. I will do 1.19, 1.18, all the newer ones. I will give a dev tutorial on any plugin you wish to see in the future. And well, that concludes everything, I guess. Yep. Have an amazing day everybody.